We have around 48 hours or less before Terra Classic will change forever when we get that 1.2% burn. And guys, if you guys are bullish on this crypto and what it can do in the future, smash the thumbs up button on this video. And uh, what I want to talk to you guys about today in today's Luna Classic video is we're going to have a look at the price right now. There is a crypto storm that has uh, hit the markets and now uh, the crypto prices pretty much across the board are going down. So it's Terra Classic weathering the storm right now. That's what we're going to talk about and we're also going to do a bit of an update on CZ. So he has actually spoken a bit about Terra Classic uh, on Binance. You know, we've had some updated words from CZ of Binance regarding, you know, his views on Luna Classic. So we're going to talk a bit about that as well. So if that sounds good to you guys, smash the thumbs up button and let's get into this video. You guys can see right here, the cryptos have basically been hit with a bit of a blizzard coming out from some macroeconomic factors. I've just put out a video recently on the channel. If you guys want to look at the broader crypto news, why that has happened, you can check out that video. But basically across the board, crypto prices have went down. And if we check out Luna Classic, how's it going in comparison to the rest of the crypto market? Uh, you can see right here, Bitcoin sitting at around $18,800 right now, uh, down 5.9%. 91%. So that's a big decrease in Bitcoin in a 24 hour period. And you, you can basically see the rest of the crypto is basically dropping down. But historically, again, not financial advice on the channel, but when there is a lot of fear, when the market is crashing, sometimes that is a good time to buy into the crypto market. So, and if we have a look at Luna Classic, how's it sitting right now? So we've actually gained a spot potentially, or we're just sitting outside the top 30 for Luna Classic. So rubbing shoulders with Bitcoin Cash, we don't need too much more to get back into the top 30 and if we do take a look at some fundamental numbers for Terra Classic today so trading around the 2800 level and if we have a look at the volume for Terra Classic you know sitting at around 221 million volume on binance.com which is still very very significant the other crypto exchanges are very high and if you guys want to support Terra Classic you can sign up to uh, Mexi which is doing some 1.2% burns on that crypto exchange you get some free bonuses on the future is trading right there and on top of that what else is happening for terra classic so there is a call to action for the lunar classic community you can see that from here they say terra rebels needs your assistance please help our devs by starring our github repo this will help us continue to build so edward kim you guys know him a great developer of lunar classic he says right here please star our github repo over at github.com slash terror rebels slash classic core this will help legitimize it to third party orgs for verification so that is good guys so please uh, make the most of that i'll leave a link to that if you guys want to do that sign up to github drop a star on the profile and you can help out uh, the Terra Rebels and Luna Classic right now. On top of that, there was also an interview done with CZ of Binance. And uh, in that interview, he actually spoke about Terra Classic and, uh, you know, Binance itself. So the interview didn't specifically talk about the 1.2% burn for Terra Classic, which what everyone is uh, very interested in. And just as a reminder for you guys, there is a Binance AMA on the 22nd of September. So that is very, very soon. It's only, what, three days away three or four days away before that occurs. Um, but in this interview, he talks about Terra Classic. He talks about Binance and, you know, the decision to keep uh, Terra Classic on the Binance exchange and not list it, even though, you know, we know USTC lost its peg. We know, um, you know, Luna Classic, the original crypto went from like $120 um, down to these micro levels. So who remembers when we were up at like, you know, $116 and then it crashed. And he was talking about, you know, the reward and risk in the crypto space. And nothing really too mind blowing coming out of that interview, but I did agree with kind of what he was saying. So in cryptocurrency, everyone needs to remember there is a reward and risk in the crypto space. And that goes for the entire crypto market. So not just Luna Classic. I do classify the entire crypto market as a you know, high risk asset. And uh, you know you can get rewarded, there can be risk. And it's the same thing if you're going into any other type of high reward, high risk activity. So for example, if you're in a Las Vegas and uh, you know, you're know you rolling the dice at Las Vegas, you know sometimes you might roll, you might roll the dice and they may go in your favor. Maybe you'll spin on the roulette table and it may go in your favor as well. You make a lot of money, but potentially at the same time, 
uh, you can lose money as well. So it just comes with the territory. And uh, I'm pretty sure everyone is aware, well aware of uh, reward and risk in the crypto space. Uh, but again, you know, if your cryptos do go in the right direction, so if Terra Classic, we have a lot of uh, catalysts and variables coming up for this crypto. And if this one does perform very, very well, again, people who hold on to this crypto, they can get massively rewarded. So the whole crypto market, there is reward and risk. And, uh, you know, September the 22nd, will we get an update from Binance about, you know, their plans on the spot volume? So will they change their tune? CZ in the past has also spoken about, you know, Terra Classic on-chain burn and in the next 48 hours we potentially may have a terra classic on-chain burn which would be massively exciting but again if we have a look at the price of terra classic and i'll reiterate my point for this crypto i am a believer that this crypto you know long term if we want to get up the charts with you know ethereum with uh, the binance smart chain really it's going to come down to you know dap development on this crypto ecosystem so you know is there DeFi? Uh, you know, services, can you generate yields? Is there rewards for investing and uh, participating in the Terra Classic ecosystem? Uh, what else? Is there games as well? So is there games on the Terra Classic ecosystem that you cannot get on any other blockchain? And are those games fun to play? And are they play to earn as well? So can you make money off those games? We've seen other games out there in the crypto space like, you know, Axie Infinity or there's heaps of others. But can we attract some good developers to the Terra Classic blockchain? And uh, that is important for this crypto and also the burn. And also, you know, could we put like, you know, casinos onto a Terra Classic? Could there be also potentially metaverses launched onto Terra Classic? And uh, remember, every time there's an activity or DAP or service running on Terra Classic, that, in my opinion, is going to help the 1.2% burn. So there is still a lot of focus on crypto exchanges doing a spot volume burn of Terra Classic. So if that was offered by all these crypto exchanges, guys, I'd still take it. So anytime we can get some good wins in the crypto market, I'll definitely take a 1.2% spot burn. But if we don't, we need to have really strong utility incentives for actually making people, you know, get that Luna Classic uh, when they buy it on exchanges and then make them actually transfer it off the exchange. So get it off the exchanges and then have it have them participating in the Luna Classic ecosystem, guys. So that is where potentially, you know, Luna Classic, if it wants to get up to those crazy numbers that we've spoken about before, uh, that is the pathway, in my opinion. So everyone may have a different opinion about Terra Classic. Maybe you have a different theory, but I'm just putting out my one. As always, not financial advice, but this is kind of the, the aspect of uh, Terra Classic I am uh, most excited about. And if we do take a look at the Luna Classic burn today, guys, we are just slightly away from uh, crushing the 4 billion level with Luna Classic. So not very long away. And again, once we have that 1.2% burn on chain, all this uh, DeFi activity that we're talking about right here, if this happens for this crypto, that's going to be exciting and that's going to help push up the numbers of Luna Classic. But guys, that is a big update for Luna Classic today. Uh, if you guys enjoyed it, smash the thumbs up button. If you guys want to support Terra Classic, you can sign up to MEXC, trade your crypto around on that exchange. But guys, appreciate you guys tuning into the video. Interesting day on the market, but I'm staying long term on Luna Classic. I'm staying long term on crypto. Crypto is not going away and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Crypto Zeus signing out. <laughs>